let's discuss a very very useful trick to find the direction of velocity of a point on a wave right so in fact uh, let me just modify this this is nothing but the direction this can't give you the magnitude but it can tell you whether the point is moving up or down right so as you know, as you guys already know this particular velocity or uh, this particular wave has two velocities one is your wave velocity which is the net uh, phenomena in which uh, you know uh, the wave appears to move it's not actually moving forward or backward but it seems to be going with v that side or coming with v this side this is your entire wave velocity but apart from this you have what is known as a particle velocity all these particles are moving up and down with their own velocities if i pick up this particle how do i know that at this particular instant of time whether it's trying to go up or trying to go down well to do that we just have to pictureize it right so this wave is moving that side that means after a certain instant of time the wave will look something like this everything will get shifted that side right so if it gets shifted this side this particular point uh, will 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 now be here right assuming the same x for both the y initially was uh, this much right y1 and your y2 is here right that means the point has come down if it has come down that means the velocity of the point was downwards that's how you actually visualize it let's look at that particular case now your wave is moving that side how do i uh, you know draw the wave after some time it will it will look something like this something like this right if i look at this particular point and if i need its velocity assuming the x to be same this point will now shift upwards right it will now go upwards because after some time it will be it will be on that particular position that means your point's velocity in this case was upwards so this is how you intuitively guess or actually verify the direction of velocity even if you actually different if if you know the equation of the wave you'll have you'll have something like this y is equals to a sin omega t minus kx or omega t plus kx or you know cos omega t minus kx cos omega t plus kx whatever you'll have the equation of the wave given to you you'll differentiate with respect to time you'll put the value of x you'll put the value of time and then you'll get the velocity right and whether if it comes out to be positive that means the particle was going up if it comes out to be negative the particle was going down but that's the math and ma mathematical way of doing it if you look at the wave you can look looking at the wave you can say whether the particle is going up or down depending on the direction of the velocity and the mathematics will also justify the same answer